Today I'm going to introduce you to the original high-speed, low-energy hand dryer, the Mitsubishi Jet Towel. The Mitsubishi Jet Towel was launched to the Japanese market in 1993. So there's been a long process there of improvement and involvement of the hand drying technology that is used today. The Jet Towel comes in two types. It comes in a heated unit and an unheated unit. And it also gives you an option of two colours. It gives you the option of the white or the silver. I believe the Jet Towel to be the most energy efficient hand dryer that you can buy today. The unheated model uses just a mere 560 watts of electrical energy when drying your hands and the task is completed in under 12 seconds. We also have a heated unit and this operates at approximately 1 kilowatt if the heater is on constantly but dries your hands in 10 seconds. Now the heater can be switched off so you have the benefit of doing this in the warm summer months of, of having increased energy efficiency but also if you're using the hand dryer in cold environments like food production, factories or in warehousing or during the winter months you have the benefit of a constant 35 degrees of temperature when drying the hands. Our nearest competitor uses 1600 watts of energy when drying hands and a traditional hot air dryer uses 2500 watts of energy but dries the hands in 30 to 40 seconds the maths is very clear, 560 watts for 12 seconds. Nothing comes close to that. The jet towel is extremely hygienic. Firstly, it's a non-touch operation. This reduces the risk of cross-contamination of bacteria between users. Secondly, the drying area is made of antimicrobial material. This basically means that it kills bacteria on contact. When you compare the noise generated when using the jet towel to our competitors, this happens to be one of the quietest hand dryers available. It's rated at just 59 decibels in operation. Our nearest competitor is rated at 85 decibels. That is quite a considerable noise difference. The jet towel is designed to provide long service life and it includes the very latest in motor technology. The jet towel is designed to be used 400 times per day, 365 days per year, and it will last for seven years. Now that's a minimum requirement. That's the design of giving you that long service life and having the comfort of mind that the unit that you will purchase will last. There are huge environmental benefits with using the jet towel. Firstly, because we're not using paper, there's no paper production, and there's no waste disposal of the paper once it's being used usually in landfill sites. Secondly, there is no need to use chemical detergents or the production of chemical detergents that are required when washing linen roller towels. And because this is an electrical hand dryer, the most important thing is it actually uses less electrical energy than any of our competitors that I'm aware of. The jet towel was designed to be a completely different means of drying your hands. The traditional means of drying hands using electrical power was the means of evaporation and this is why it takes 30 to 40 seconds by this means to dry hands. Evaporation is quite a long process. The jet towel is a kinetic means of drying your hands which gives us the benefit of high speed. And what the jet towel does is a very thin, very thin stream of air that actually moves the moisture off your hands rather than evaporation. It has this effect. So if I, if I now wash my hands you will see how quickly I'll show you wet hands and I'll show you dry hands. So there, as you can see, is quite wet hands. If I now go to the dryer and I go through the beams, you now see dry hands. This is a much quicker means of, of drying than the conventional hot air type of dryer. The extra benefit of the Mitsubishi Jet Towel is that it incorporates upper and lower sensors. Most of our competitors just incorporate higher sensors. Now the benefit to the user is if you have extremely wet hands and you insert them into the dryer, straight away if the airflow at high speed 
comes out, it blows the moisture back onto the user. With the jet towel, I insert my hands. The dryer doesn't come on until my hands are right inside the machine. That's because you need to break the lower sensor beam. When I'm pulling my hands out of the machine, I need to break the upper sensor before it switches off. By that way, you don't get the blowback of moisture on yourself, and you'll make sure that the tips of your fingers are dry. The wastewater, which is produced when drying the hands, goes down through the drain plug into a drain tank. So the benefit of this to the user is that the water is contained within the machine, rather than on the walls or the floor. This goes down into a drain tank, and the drain tank is easily removed and cleaned and replaced, and this can form part of the cleaning routine.